December 1st and the lights came on so they've been going heating up the engine for the last oh I don't know hour and a half two hours let's go check the thermometer frost on the ground so that tells me it at least was recently at least 32 degrees the weather channel says it's 30 degrees let's see what my thermometer says uh, yeah I guess I'd call that uh, let's call it 31 I would say to really to really be accurate it's just a smidge above 30 so we'll call that 31 Okay, beginning odometer reading. Four three one two three point two. Four three one two three point two. It's a bit earlier than I'm normally used to getting up at. Well, I'm not actually getting up. I usually get up by seven o'clock, but getting out and doing anything. I was expecting to wait till about eight. But then when I looked on the weather channel by 8 o'clock, I think temperatures are going to be up about 34, 36 degrees. So this is my one shot. And it looks pretty cloudy out too, like the sun's not going to really maybe even be out much today. So this would normally be a day. It wasn't the Thanksgiving weekend holiday where I would be doing a TDD report. Why was it tempting too to work on one today because a lot of great stuff is coming in and naturally I'm going to talk about science stuff anyway because it's just stuff I enjoy talking about. If you saw in the news and you're following it they were debating about Comet Ison and whether it still really exists or not or whether it's just totally gone or pieces of it looks like in the latest shots I've got that there is something left of it coming back and around after it passed around the Sun don't know how much of it's the original and how much of it's just maybe a big piece that survived hard to really tell so we may or may not actually get a chance in a few weeks to see it again Also, I kind of wanted to talk about something that scientists have been talking about for several years now. Well, there's actually two things they've been talking about, about the way the universe itself exists and is laid out. The first one I have talked about on the TDD report a little bit. It's about the fact that some scientists believe that the universe may be a 3D hologram of what's actually a 2D universe. And the things that we think are three-dimensional are just projections from the edges of the universe. Which is interesting. You can actually look up these subjects and probably find them on Google fairly easy. Okay, am I even going to get the light? Hey, it did trigger. Um, just look up on Google, is the universe a hologram? And there's even different theories about that too. And uh, how you would consider the Earth a hologram, they don't. Some of the theories, they don't believe literally it's a hologram, but it has uh, holographic effects. So the effects, even in the, if, even in the areas we live in, things that happen and things that are going on are affected by what's happening at the edges of the universe. But they don't believe we're literally a hologram. And then there's others that literally believe we're a hologram. And as usual, when scientists propose a theory if they want their theory to be believed or supported by a lot of the community then either they or somebody else needs to come up with some kind of way to test the theory and the other thing I've been reading a lot about is are we living in a matrix type of world are we living in a simulation 
which it's it's interesting they use that term I see in a lot of and these are news articles so it may be more the journalists than the reporters using these terms than the scientists themselves because to me if uh, you're gonna call something a simulation that means you're recreating something else that's either real or more real depending on your terminology so um, If you would presuppose that the world is some kind of a created 3D world by a higher being, which brings in a lot of some of the same ideas that religious people believe about everything being created from scratch by a higher being, it would be interesting if science could come up with some kind of a proposal to test for that. Would it still, or would it actually um, be a bridge and actually combine science with religion? I don't know, I seriously doubt it. I mean, if, if scientists even in the next few years came up with some type of experiment to where they were really 99% of the scientists were convinced that some type of higher intelligence created our universe and all the things in it and set it in motion. Um, I doubt that necessarily means to them that any of our particular religious denominations or religious beliefs uh, have anything to do with that. I'm not saying that that's my view, I'm just saying that I can see from the scientist's point of view thinking that way too, that the one doesn't necessarily, and I, and I agree in a way, I mean theoretically the one doesn't prove that the other, it could be that uh, you could always use the conjecture that one's coincidence. Ending mileage, 4-3, 130.3.